Alright, so we're here in I Bomber Defense Pacific, about to do Edison's Ridge. Um, or Edison's. And um, <coughs> as you can see here, our upgrade so far is um, basically three cannon, three machine gun with times two power guns, flaming units, two bomb, two flamer. Uh, and we're using the special delivery, green back, and faster aiming perks. I'm go ahead and start up. Alright. So we're going to start off this mission, placing a few uh, machine gun turrets up on this um, high ridge here. And then using a comms tower to boost their damage and range, and uh, also build up some interest. Go ahead and place a bomb turret. The next bit of money we got. As you can see, I'm just kind of working the uh, crates over as I get the chance in between waves. Go ahead and upgrade some of these turrets. trying to break open these crates and uh, as you can see our secondary objective in this mission is to build uh, several comms towers so that was another reason why we wanted to build that first one there because this mission is going to be introducing them to us go ahead and place a flame turret down by that opening it's going to go ahead and slow down our units and help uh, Kill off those attackers, those sneak attacks that came in from the side there. We just got everything going fast now. Use that bomb to help destroy those uh, attackers and also damage that crate that was nearby. And now you got a machine gun turret place next to that flamer. And both of our uh, machine gun turrets up on that ridge are level 3 now. Which is another important thing. We finally broke open one of those crates. Now we got a cannon placed where that uh, first crate was. We just broke it open another crate. on the uh, ridge up there while I upgraded my machine gun turret. I'm doing pretty well here so far. I'm halfway through now. Alright, so you can see we got another sneak attack, which is that ship in the water. And the only real good way to kill that is going to be with bombs. We place another comms tower down. And hopefully we'll start accruing some serious interest soon. Finished off that next crate. We're gonna start shooting at one that's uh, within range of all the turrets there on the ridge. We got another bomb turret placed, and now we've gotten rid of that um, pesky uh, snake attacking battleship or destroyer. Place another comms turret, even though it's not really within range of anything, it's going to help boost. Those the bomb turrets, as you can see, don't really get boosted by that. We're just going to use that little machine gun turret to break open that next crate. And there's our hidden target, which is a little hut the woods by where that uh, sneak attacking destroyer came in. We're upgrading that machine gun turret by the end there to help break open that crate. I'm going to start using bombs to help uh, 
get rid of the enemies because we need to spend most of the money we got left on working on additional comms turrets. Alright, that looks like all the ones that we needed. We didn't really get much interest, unfortunately, but we had to spend most of the money that we made here. But, uh, important part is still winning the mission. And as you can see, as the bombs come up, just dropping them on the advancing enemy units. And that's pretty much it. We're on the final wave. Use those bombs to help get rid of them, because the turrets were not enough. But that's it. Um, optionally, you can also pause the game right after you kill the last unit before the mission completes. Sell off some of your turrets and build comms towers. Um, that's something that can work uh, as well. Um, either way, I got 20 victory points from that full house. Uh, pretty much wraps up this mission. And uh, we'll put some upgrades into the comms there. Get them at level 3. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video.